Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right. Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we appreciate you clicking on that video. Before we get started, please do us a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you're aware of our next upload of videos. You're trying to take my line, huh? It really helps us out. I'm trying to make a push for this, you know? 90% mm -hmm. of our viewers are not subscribed. Please help us out and hit that subscribe button so you're always aware, like she said, of our videos. We are checking out Al Murray today. Al Murray. Al Murray. I will beat you. And which video are we checking out today? We're running out of these and I'm so sad. But which one are we checking out today? The reason Einstein, Shakespeare, and Mozart weren't geniuses. Now, all I'm going to say Ooh. is an English teacher, as an English teacher, I know all the claims about Shakespeare and whether he really wrote his plays or somebody else wrote them and all that good stuff. But regardless, I will say he did invent some words that we use today. Well, did he? If he didn't write his plays. <laughs> I'm going to say that he wrote them. Absolutely. And I am going to say that, yes, he made them up. And if you read the unabridged versions, they're very naughty. We talk a lot about sex, a lot about balls. He invented a guy calling them rocks. Just saying. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, William. Mm -hmm. The thing is this, okay? Does it really matter? Now, I <laughs> like to think that it's hundreds of years later, and now, in the last 20, 30 years, we're thinking, oh, maybe they didn't. Or he didn't write it. Or maybe it was before that. I don't know. That's kind of messed up. Like, the guy's not even around to defend himself. And even if he didn't write it, he put his name on it for crying. How many pop artists out there are being credited for g being geniuses for all these songs that they have? Yeah. They, they are blatantly saying, I did not write it for crying out loud. So, it's true. I mean, his name is on it. It's a Shakespearean idea of storytelling. Shakespeare play. Give the man his due. Einstein, Al Murray's crazy. Mozart, Al Murray's crazy, but, but I'm excited has, to find out what he has. I know I it has not nothing to do with the title. It's it's uh it's not clickbait, but it's like a title to to catch your attention. But I think clickbait's more negative sounding. Yeah. So I'm not going to assume, but if it is what I'm going to assume, he's nuts. Let's go ahead and check this out. Right. Quite frankly, I don't know about you, but I think the word genius is one that's overused these days. What do you think? You'd agree with me, yeah? Name a genius, Dave. Well, I would agree with that. Einstein! Albert! Einstein! <laughs> yeah. You're saying he's a genius. I'm saying... He gets loud, you know it's serious. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a haircut. <laughs> of course, being from Switzerland, there was no army, there was no chance of national service, he didn't get in a haircut. <laughs> As a result, he ended up spouting a load of f***ing <laughs> nonsense. Could have Albert Einstein. Fear of relativity. <laughs> Fear of relativity. <laughs> yeah. The faster you go, the heavier you get. That's what he said, isn't it? Well, that's bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> or fat blokes be quicker on their feet, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, you, do you want to get up here? Prove him wrong. <laughs> no, you can't get out of your chair, can you? He equals some suck in the chair. <laughs> Genius, very thin right there, this video. Yeah, he yeah you would. Ask you, Father of Modern Physics, gave us the world we live in today through these theoretical applications of physics. Now, I think he wasn't a genius at all. In fact, I think he was a f***ing time waste. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? How many lives do we have in this world? Eh? Just the one. And what did he do with his one life? I'll tell you, for 23 years of his life, 23 years, all Isaac Newton did all day, every day, was think, wasn't it? <laughs> think. That's all he did all day, every day. Think. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> Come on. What if I divide by velocity? No, that'd be a cunt. <laughs> what about that apple? No, no, the apple's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Physics, like that, yeah? <laughs> For 23 years of his life, at the end of it, he'd come up with the idea that every action causes an equal and opposite reaction. 23 <laughs> years that took him to come up with eight in words. A little more than that. <laughs> 23 years. Now, we all know 
if you spill some cunt's pint, he's gonna lamp you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not physics, is it? It's economics, isn't it? <laughs> Supply and demand, he's asking for it. You're going to give it to him, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's my way to say it. Did you say Shakespeare's a genius, Dave? I would agree with you. Shakespeare was a genius. It's just a shame he wasted it right in plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's something constructive, like invent a smoke detector that doesn't go off when you're cooking sausages. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, but there is one name. When people talk about genius, apart from Francis Drake, of course, mate, when people talk about genius, there's one name that always comes up. When people talk about the sheer burning bright flame of human creativity, burning bright in one person, streaking across the night sky of human consciousness and culture, it's always Mozart, isn't it? Someone said Mozart a moment ago. Would you say Musical Mozart was a genius? genius? Yeah. Wolfgang! <laughs> Emmaus! Mozart. Now, Jerry from Oz, I don't expect you to have heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Wham! Yes, not. <laughs> Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Now, now you say he's a genius, were you, Dave? Are you, Dave? Yeah. Uh, he was certainly an ideal child, wasn't he? Yeah. By the time he was four, he was out of the house, wasn't he? <laughs> Generating income. You just can't, can't argue with kids like that, can you? <laughs> Put it in the trust fund, fiddle it, that's right. <laughs> four quid when he's 21, that's the game plan. <laughs> Blame on inflation and the collapse of the housing market. Now, <laughs> inevitable collapse of the housing market. The point is this. You're saying he's a genius, aren't you, Dave? Now, the reason people say that Mozart was a genius is because by the time he was aged three years old. By the time he was aged three years old, huh, he had written a tune of Twinkle Twinkle, <laughs> Little Star. Hmm? Do you know that tune, Angela? Do you know that tune? Yeah. You do. Would you like to sing it for us now? You <laughs> wrote that song? Come on, love. Sing it for us now. No. Into the no. <laughs> wow. I would not be okay with that. No, me Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, yeah. how I wonder what you are. Back into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Come on, this is your West End debut. <laughs> Milky, for Christ's sake, come on. Up above the world. <laughs> like a diamond. <laughs> 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 We'll get to you, sweetheart. Now, come on. Like a diamond in the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's beautiful. Round of applause. Yeah, because I really like, no, I'm not oh singing. Oh, my God, it's terrifying. A flawless performance. Let's all sing it, shall we? Let's all sing that now. Because Dave here is saying he's a genius for writing that, so we need to, let's, let's just wallow in the sheer creative brilliance of Mozart's <laughs> daring compositional talent. Here we go. Twinkle, the creation of TikTok right there. Alburn. That was, that was glorious. All of us singing together as a community. That was a beautiful British moment. It was like the Blitz in here for a minute, wouldn't it, Pops? Except <laughs> <laughs> without the reassuring sound of East London being destroyed <laughs> in the background. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can tell what you like about Herman Goering, but he could pick a place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go over this tune one more time, shall we, Dave? <laughs> Your son, he was a genius for writing this, aren't he, son? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Let's put your theory to the test. <laughs> Not very <laughs> tune. It's one, one of the easiest songs to learn, for sure. <laughs> I'll drink my beer while I play Tinker, Tinker, Tinker. One <laughs> 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 yeah, Dave, Sam. <laughs> We're four fifths of the way through this now. <laughs> 
And I'm yet to detect any traces of genius. <laughs> Do you think he's going to turn it round with the last 12 notes? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? <laughs> oh, no, what a f***ing surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have... Okay, but he's three years old. <laughs> yes, I have a few things to say about that. But first, I mean, go ahead, bring the common sense, stupid Americans. I was not aware that he wrote that song. All right, so it says right here that the the lyrics, it says the English poems, I'm assuming the lyrics were written by Jane Taylor. Um, did he mention that name? I can't remember. No. And then the... The tune was a French melody published, sub, published in 1761, later arranged by several composers, composers, including Mozart, and 12 variations of A Bou Garage Maman. Can't say that. So from this, we can assume that the, the tune could have been written by Mozart. Okay? okay. First of all, three years old. I didn't do research on that. But that's impressive for a three-year-old. But let me tell you my rebuttal for why I think he would be a genius just from that and we know Mozart did so many other songs right but just from this one this is my argument for that is it a genius because it's complex it for three years old is it a genius because it's something that's very difficult to do or is it genius because it resonates with people and it lasts the test of time mm. 2022 this was probably recorded maybe 10 years ago these videos are a little older right so 2022 most kids in my fourth grade class can tell you the words and can sing the tune for Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Actually, most three or four-year-olds can. Right. But... Adults can. Older people. So, I mean, my point is it's lasted. How many great pieces of complex music has been written in 1761 or the 1700s or the 1800s that no one's aware of today? But I know your audience is going to write in the comments, but this is a comedy. It's a satire. No, no, no. I He's get not that. meant to take it seriously. Yes. So I just wanted to put that out. That yeah. you're not saying, you know, you're not rebuttaling his comedic reaction. Yes. It was hilarious. In the universe of this stand-up. And I'm glad you put that point that out because I think a lot of times... When we talk about people this, People think like we're getting really upset yes, and like, and we're not. He speak, like he's on CNN or something like that. Yeah. Or he's on some news network that you prefer to watch where... You know, he's spitting out the facts or this or that or whatever it is. We understand it's comedy, so we're responding to what we reacted to, responding to the idea of that comedy. It's and, funny um, and we get it and we laugh with it. It's just talking about it. Now, talking about his his set right there, it was hilarious and it was genius the way he put it together, the way he was able to take each person and bring him down to know they're not a genius because of this. Except for Shakespeare. Billy Very... Shakespeare, he kept there. But I want to say... <laughs> but he didn't mention about the sausages, which was awesome. <laughs> but I do want to say, was Billy Shakespeare the only English one? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too, because we're reading the names, right? And I'm like, well, Shakespeare's English. So the fact that he's not a genius in the title, I'm like, oh, he's going to go against the English. Not so fast, right? Yeah. He didn't make fun of the fact that he wasted his genius on plays, which... Yes, yes. I Again... Again, I get it's comedy, and I again, I appreciate you said that because yeah, a lot of times I think the audience cow. thinks that we don't realize that, and we do realize that we're just talking about it. Yeah. What I do love is how he first put on the, when he went to the piano, he first put his cup of beer down, and then also right away he picked it up and put it down hard because you could tell he almost kind of realized, oh yeah, I want to make yeah. a point, like I want to bring my act into this, and so he kind of played with his beer can, uh, beer uh, glass pint, a few times, his pint. his pint, and like brought it back and forth. I did like how he kind of tried to show his annoyance, frustration. You and know, the simplicity. Mm -hmm. I got my beer. I'm sitting here facing you. Not even one finger. Sitting at it on off I'm four kisses of the way through. Let me know when the genius comes in. <laughs> and he's off to the side. He's not even looking at the piano. Yeah. One thing I noticed, and I don't know if it was, I'm not sure. It was almost like it seemed like one of those editing things, mistakes that you see in movies. Because when he was drinking it near the end, it looked like almost all of it was gone. Like maybe yeah. this much left. And you look at it and there was about that much left. So I don't know if he was doing one of those things where he's spinning some of it out so he doesn't get too drunk as he's performing. And you don't kind of notice it. Or if maybe like it went up the gullet and it went back down and he didn't close his mouth or whatever. No, I think it's it something was the small. foam. I think it was the foam. Maybe, but it just seemed like there was like that much. As the glass was, you know, flat... As he's drinking, it looked like there was that much. I can't imagine that equates to that much. But anyways, 
it's a stupid thing to focus on, and that's what I what I pay attention to. But absolutely hilarious. I love how he took these. I mean, the Newton thing. <laughs> in 23 years, he's just thinking an amazing amount of waste of time. But getting to if this was a serious argument, if this was philosophy, all of those people have lasted the test of time. And yeah. that's the thing right there. That's true. Let us know what you think about our reaction to this. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time. Goodbye.